This video is brought to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. What is going on, everyone? We are getting closer and closer to week one against Indianapolis with the 53-man roster being finalized. Let's take a look at the 2024 Houston Texan offense. Welcome, everyone, to the 713 Houston Sportcast. My name is Ruben Calvillo. I drop daily Houston Texans content. Make sure you guys are following me on Twitter Instagram and TikTok for the latest news, rumors, and updates. This episode was brought to you and powered by BetUS. Guys, let's go ahead and have some fun. I'm on the BetUS website and check it out, dude. It looks legit. It looks professional. We're going to the football column here and going to the week one odds. This is real easy to use, guys. Um, and I just cannot wait to see where they have the Houston Texans. They have all 16 matchups here. Let's go ahead and see. Houston Texans, they are one-point favorites at Indianapolis. You guys know who I'm feeling. I'm H-Town till I drown. I am taking that one point, and let's just go ahead and put a 100 bones on it to win $80. I think the Houston Texans are going to start off 1-0 against the Indianapolis Colts. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know if you tell Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you guys are taking advantage of that 125% bonus on your first three deposits up to $2,000. Before we get into the video, we have some news regarding injuries. Here is a tweet from Aaron Wilson. Texans practice update. Will Anderson Jr. ankle didn't practice but actively increasing as he trends toward playing in Colts game. Tim Settle Jr. calf and Jeff Okuda hip return to practice. MJ Stewart quad did not practice. We are back to football, ladies and gentlemen. When you talk about this Houston Texan offense, there is a lot of expectations. When you bring in a Joe Mixon, when you trade for a Stephon Diggs, you are expected to be one of the best offensive units in the NFL. And I think the Houston Texans will be exactly that let's take a look at their offense this year it starts with your quarterback it's cj stroud and let me know in the comments down below your predictions for cj stroud's stat line is he throwing over 4,000 yards is he throwing over 30 touchdowns how many ints is he tossing let me know in the comments down below but guys i am expecting an mvp year from number seven i want to see the growth in leadership. I know you're a great quarterback. I know you're going to ball out on the field. Show me that the other 52 Houston Texans rally behind you and will follow you to basically the edge of the earth, man. CJ Stroud, we are behind you, and I am expecting an MVP caliber year from you. You're started running back, Joe Mixon, and man, am I hyped for Joe. You've heard me say it all offseason. We only had three 100 rushing yard performances from Devin Singletary last year, and all three of them were victories. We have yet to see the full potential of this Houston Texan offense, and Joe Mixon is going to be electric, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know your predictions for his stat line. Is he going to get over 1,000 yards? The Texans haven't had a 1,000-yard rusher since Carlos Hyde. He had a nice play in the Rams joint practice where he – did a will route, and it was a 20-yard catch from C.J. Stroud on our sideline, the fan sideline. The crowd erupted. Those are the type of plays you get when Joe Mixon's out there. Your backup running back, is it Cam Akers? Is it Damian Pierce? If I'm Bobby Slowick, I'm giving it to Cam Akers. And I'm giving Damian Pierce maybe three to five carries against Indy Week 1. Show me your worth and what little opportunities I'm going to give you with Cam Maker, this is a great moment for him. A great moment to solidify himself as the Houston Texans backup running back. I think he has already done that based off of what he's done in training camp, based off what he's done in the preseason. But if he has a strong game in week one against Indy, that would be crazy to see. But as far as the running backs, your three, Joe Mixon, Cam Makers, Damian Pierce, you have a new starting fullback, guys, and that is undrafted running back British Brooks from North Carolina, a strong training camp, a strong preseason, two rushing touchdowns against the New York Giants. We saw him at practice playing in the fullback role, saw him in the game against the Rams playing in the fullback role. 
when you saw the Houston Texans get rid of um, Troy Harrison, Andrew Beck, you knew British Brooks was going to make this 53-man roster. I love this story. And I knew something was up whenever he ran a touchdown at training camp and Nick Casario jogged up to him, dabbed him up. I knew there was something there. But, man, I am excited for number 44. And think about this, guys. It is insane that an undrafted rookie made this 53-man roster. Your wide receivers, and this is what everyone's excited about with your three legit number one guys, Nico Collins, Tank Dell, and the guy you traded for, Stephon Diggs. Who is going to have the most yards? Let me know in the comments down below. Who is going to have the most touchdowns? This is going to be one of the best passing attacks in the game this year, guys. NFL defenses are not going to be able to keep up. Do they believe they have three legit cornerbacks to guard our wide receivers? And we haven't even mentioned our tight end group. We haven't even mentioned, you know, our running backs, Joe Mixon and Cam Akers, could also do damage through the air in terms of pass catching. With Nico Collins, Stephon Diggs, Tank Dell, I see a scenario where every different game they are going off. I don't see one guy being the primary number one the entire length of the season. I think each of these guys will have their moments. And I think when it comes toward the end of the season, we are going to see Stephon Diggs be that dude as we get to Miami, Kansas City, Baltimore, and into the playoffs. I cannot wait to see how these three play. The last time a team had three 1,000-yard receivers, it was the Arizona Cardinals with Kurt Warner. Can the Houston Texans do it? I think they will. They have a good tight end group also. When you heard me say it last night stream, this is the best tight end group we've had in a while. Dalton Schultz had 600 yards last year and four plus touchdowns, a red zone threat. And I think he is going to be another threat this year, man. When you're going to be trying to do everything you can to stop our wide receivers, it's going to be Dalton Schultz on the dink and dunks. You saw it against the New York Giants. You saw it against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Our tight ends were just catching three-yard passes and taking it for two, three yards more. That's all you need from them. Let your wide receivers do great things over the top and let your tight ends eat up in the middle. And I think it is going to be easy for C.J. Stroud. Spread these boards out wide and let's go ahead and get to work. Now, the thing that is going to hold this offense together is the O-line. And it goes Laramie Tunsil, Kenyon Green, Juice Scruggs, Shaq Mason, Titus Howard. And knock on wood, it looks like everyone's healthy. It looks like everyone's going to be there for week one against the Indianapolis Colts. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the first time in two years our starting offense plays one game together. There is a lot of hype. There is a lot of expectations surrounding this Houston Texan offense, and I cannot wait to see it underway. For more Houston Texans content, guys, you know what to do. Follow me for more. How dangerous do you think this offense could be? This episode was brought to you and powered by BetUS. You guys have a very blessed day.